What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. In this video, we will be building this number guessing game using only JavaScript. So the rule of the game is pretty simple. All you have to do is guess a number between 1 and 100 and if you guess incorrectly, your computer will give you hints along the way and help you. Like It'll tell you if the number you guess should, should have been higher or lower. Like this, I put in 50 and it says you guess too high, which means I have to guess lower. 30 is still too high, so let's try 20. 20 is still too high. 10. Okay, now we found our two points. Like it, Our number is between 10 and 30, so let's try 15. That's still too low. How about 18? That's too high, so it's got to be 17 or 16. Okay, it has to be 16. Yep. So that's pretty much all there is to the game. So let's get right into it. The first thing we will do is get rid of all this code so we can start from scratch. So I'm going to generate my boilerplate code, and I'm sure you guys know how to do that by now. And then I'll create a div and give an ID of container. And inside of this container, I will create a p tag and call it guess a number between 1 and 100. So that's sort of like our paragraph. And then underneath that, I'll create another p tag. And then it'll say, output text and I'll call it enter a number below and then after that I can create an input so input and then give an ID of user input and just that's all we need for the input and then I'll create two buttons so I can use the shortcut button times two and then I'll put them on different lines to make it easier to read and then I'll give this button an enter button, an ID of enter button, and this will be again button. So this is the button we will be pressing to play again. So it will say play again, and then this will be enter. And that's pretty much all we need for our HTML. Now we can get started with the CSS. So I'm going to go create my, um, my style tags, which I can type CSS in. Now once you are in your CSS, tags you can style your container and give it a margin of auto and obviously margin auto doesn't work yet because we haven't given the container a width yet margin auto only works when there's a width so we'll specify it in a minute now we're just going to give it other styles so border 5 pixel light blue font size 30 pixels padding 10 pixels text align center height to 60 pixels with 600 pixels background color hashtag 0 e2431 and we misspelled pixels right here that's why it wasn't working and now if we refresh we have the basic structure of our game and we have to change the color of the text because black doesn't show up very well on top of that dark blue background. So we can give our p tag a color of white. Now if we refresh again, it so shows up much better. Now we can style our user input with 170 pixels. Uh, I don't know why I typed the L. And then height 23 pixels. And that's all we need for our CSS. For this particular project, there's not much HTML and CSS to it, so now we can get started with the JavaScript. So the first thing we will create is a variable. I'll call it var enter button, enter button, and then var again button, again button. And for our output, var output, no space in between. I, I didn't mean to do that. And then var output, output text. And we can create a, a random number variable. So I'll, And it will be set equal to math.seal. Math.seal. Because if we don't do math.seal, if we get 0 0.5 or something like that, it won't round up to 1. Because the direction here says a number between, between 1 and 100. We don't want 0 to 100 unless you want to change the rule of the game a little bit but it's up to you I'm just gonna do math.seal 
and then I'll type math.random, so it's going to pick a random number, then times that by 100, and now I'm going to create a function, check, I misspelled function, and the name of it will be check number, so it's going to analyze our number, and check to see if it matches the actual number. So I'm going to create a variable called input, and that is our user input, it's so it's whatever the user typed into the input. That's why I'm typing dot value at the end, or else it won't work. It's going to cause an error in your console. And then I'm going to create a few if statements saying if input equals equals random number. And then if that statement is true, then output dot enter HTML equals. You can give it any message you want, but I'm just going to say you guessed right. And then a space plus comma plus it was and then another space then plus random number so let's say random number was five it's gonna say you guessed right it was five that's basically what that's gonna do and then the color of it will be green because you got it right so green is a good thing good color and then else if input is greater than random number and input is less than a hundred then output dot enter HTML equals you guessed too high so if the number is a number between that random number and a hundred but you guess too high then this if statement this else if statement right here will be triggered and then else if input is less than random number and input is still greater than one then it's gonna say output dot enter HTML equals you guessed too low and then else if input is less than one output dot enter HTML will say higher it has it has not it was it has to be between to be between one and one hundred and then else if is nan, which is just is number, so is a number, is a number, and then we'll just pass in our input for our parameter. So if else if input is not a number, then output dot inner HTML equals that's not a number. That's not a number. So whenever we type any non numerical character into the input, it's gonna say that's not a number. So if we type some letters or some symbols, it's going to cause an error. And then for our last one, it's going to say else in output dot inner HTML equals lower. It has to be between one and a hundred. And now we are done with our function. We can go add an event listener for, for our enter button. So enter button dot add event listener. It's going to listen for a click event, so when you click on it, it will run the function. And the function name is check number with camel case, so check number. So now whenever you click on this enter button, which is this button right here, it's going to run the function. For my again button, I'm going to give it an event listener of click. And when you click on it, it's going to reload our page. Now, I'm pretty sure we are done. Let's test it out. So if I enter in... 40 it's gonna say you guessed too low and I also should have made the text red I can do that right now so where was it it's our output text so output text make it red okay and it's gonna change to green when we guess the right number so let's try again 40 that's too low 60 that's too high let's try 80 so it's between 60 and 80 it's between 70 and 80 okay so it's between 70 and 75 actually 71 maybe no 71 still too high 70 so it's 69 how is that still too high okay maybe 60 oh i think i must have clicked refresh by accident so 30 is too low 40 is still too low 50 is too high which means oh wow i guess it's right yay and yeah this is it for the project i hope you guys had fun building this if you did make sure to go check out my other videos and other than that i hope you guys have a nice day and i hope to see you again in my next video